Mmm, a bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. But do you know what's even better than that? A bacon wrapped pork tenderloin stuffed with pesto. First things first, preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Did your country vote to leave a pan-continental trade deal only to end up with long lines at ports, food shortages, and more expensive everyday items? The number you're looking for is 230 degrees Celsius. All right, while oven heats up, let's take care of the pesto. And no, you're not seeing things. This is indeed a new food processor. It's nice and big, which means I don't have to pre-top the basil. Speaking of which, grab three ounces of fresh basil leaves. Then toss in three cloves of garlic. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter cup of pine nuts. Some people like to roast the pine nuts before they put it in. Don't. The heat from the pine nuts will cause the basil to wilt and you'll end up with a lumpy sauce. But if you do want to kick up the flavoring, toss in a little sprinkling of crushed red pepper flakes. Slap the lid on. Now take everything for a spin while drizzling in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Ew, now this is your bulge. You might have to scrape down the sides of the bowl, that's fine. Okay, this is the consistency you want. Let's give it a taste test. A little bit more salt and a little bit more olive oil. Perfect, put everything, perfect, transfer everything to a small bowl. All right, now for the main attraction, pork tenderloin. But before we can stuff and wrap it, there's one thing we need to take care of. Silver skin. This is inedible sinew, it's gonna get tough and chewy, we gotta get rid of it. So using a small knife, just Poke it under, poke through the other side, angle it upwards, try to stick your finger under there, angle it upwards, and cut away the silver skin. Okay, now we can get to stuffing. Make an incision with your knife right here at the very top, or close to the top. And cut down the center until you reach the other side without actually making it to the other side, like, you know, up to here. Just like this. Is it in yet? Now take our pesto and put it in our crevice. Close it up. Flip it around. And uh, if you think I'm done with the pesto, buddy boy, you have no idea how incorrect you are. So dab generous amounts of pesto on our pork loin and spread it all over. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, wrapping everything in bacon at cheese. For this, you'll need some of the thinnest cut bacon you can find. Try it. So wrap it like this. Try to make sure the seams are underneath the pork. And if you do end up with a seam on top, just take another slice of bacon, stick it underneath close to where it ends. Okay, check the underside to me, see if you missed anything, and oh boy, I did. Put our loin in the middle of a 
aluminum foil lined baking sheet. Take our pork and put it in the middle of our 450 degree oven and let it cook for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take your pork out of the oven. Then transfer it to a wooden cutting board. Cover it with aluminum foil. And let it rest for five to 10 minutes. Okay, once it rests for about five minutes, you can dig it right away. But um, it still needs one more thing. Wait, wait, let me get one for Instagram and TikTok. Okay, it's ready to dig in. Slice up a couple pieces and dig right in. What am I doing with a... Uh, it's a long day. Cut up some pieces and dig right in. I am so gonna have this entire pork tenderloin to myself. This has been Jay's Cooking Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Wait, I thought Americans didn't know what was going on outside their country. Stop getting political advice from teenagers on TikTok.